Crackberry.com. Hey everybody, Kevin here for Crackberry.com at the Blackberry launch, well, Blackberry 10 launch event in New York City with Dustin here. Look at this, we've got the Blackberry Q10. Q10. Got it? Q10, that's the name. This is the full QWERTY Blackberry 10 device coming out. Here's the sister variant, that's my Z10, just so you can get a quick size comparison. Let's flip it over too. Beautiful. Got our security watch on here. And now, Dustin, walk us through us through this device with us. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and, uh, as many of you have seen, the same software that's running on the uh, Z10. The only really difference is the uh, the keyboard itself, the physical keyboard. And so you still have your, your flow, right? Uh, you still have your active frames, uh, of course, your applications itself, and then you have your, your uh, peak gestures. Maybe. There we go. Cool. All right. So, uh, software-wise, it's very similar, very, uh, very fluid, very solid. I uh, just have the uh, the keyboard. There. So can I? So the keyboard, obviously, a little change from say the BlackBerry Bold 9900. We're yes. going to a straight row of, of keys here. Uh, we talked about that for a minute because I sat down just a few days ago with the industrial designer who worked on it, Joseph Hofer, and he walked us through some of the reasons why these changes took place. And a big part for the smiling keyboard in the past was you had to have it, right? Because you had your trackpad there, your roll of buttons, and you wanted to maximize the keyboard space. So by putting it into that smile, you know, it worked. Some of the buttons were different sizes than that. So with Joseph, he really, you know, believes this is the ultimate and better keyboard design because all your buttons are going to be in the same space. You actually get better muscle memory by having everything in straight rows. Uh, I've played with it a little bit for typing, and I think it's pretty good. I mean, I love the 9900 keyboard, so I feel like it's probably on top of it. Yes. But you, you've used this, right? Yes, absolutely. And how absolutely. is the keyboard? It is amazing. I've used the 9900 for a very long time. The muscle memory is still there. You have the sculpted keys. It's about 30% bigger than the 90, uh, 9900 keys. Uh, so it's uh, very, very efficient and, uh, and accurate. And the response rate's really nice. The one thing I noticed with this is when you hit the keys, it's a really great feeling on the top. Right? It's got the right pressure, the right speed. So, for guys who love keyboards, you're not going to be disappointed, yeah, I think, is the bottom line. And stick with the strengths, that's for sure. And 7, 720 by 720 display there. Yes. So, with this device coming out a little bit later, I think that's partially to get give developers time to get apps on the platform with that SDK. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, the the only you know big changes between this and the Z would be the, the aspect ratio. Right. Right. So, just particular apps like games might be rendered. Sure. If, uh, if an app isn't re-rendered, will it run with black bars? If it's like a HD style, you know, landscape game, or how does that work? Is yeah, that something you would, a developer would recode? Yeah, so that's something that, that uh, you would want to talk to the development community sure. about. Sure, sure, sure. So not one that, that we're really prepared to render here. A little bit bigger, you notice. And battery door, they talked about that at the keynote today. So this has that, uh, it's like a carbon glass weave. It's or a woven glass. Woven glass. Uh, okay. Battery door. It will actually help out with reception. Even. Uh, but uh, every bit of this device is attentive to detail. Uh, you know, the stainless steel frame uh, all the way around the device. Right, so that's a metal frame on the device. Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, you have the stainless steel frets that are actually uh, form fit to the device itself, uh, all the way down to the uh, stainless steel fret on the back that actually is ropes, uh, is lifted a little bit to protect. Right, that makes sense. Cool. And NFC obviously under the battery door. Yeah, Do we know what size of battery is in this? Uh, you know, we're not announcing that. Right oh, okay. Yet. So here's the spec sheet for everybody if you want to zoom in on it. So we've got 139 grams, 3.1 inch Super AMOLED, 720 by 720. It's got the 2 gigs of RAM, same processor. Like you said, it's really the Z10 specs all the way through. Yeah. Different form factor for those who want a physical keyboard. And I'm liking the Q10 name. It's kind of funny. The uh, the rumor for a long time was X10, which we never thought was right. The Q, Q for QWERTY. So it totally makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. All right, that's it, that's oh, yeah. it for this one. Thanks for the help walking through the Q10. No problem. And uh, keep it locked to Crackery for a lot more coverage on this factory as we learn more about it. We want it in our hands. I promise.